What is NFL Red Zone? What isn't NFL Red Zone? Hi everyone, it's that time of week. Scott Hansen here, fired up as ever to be your touchdown tour guide, wondering what will happen next? And that's the way you start an NFL Sunday. Football fans are used to watching one game at a time. NFL Red Zone not only shows you that game, it shows you the best parts of every game, every touchdown, every big turnover, every game-changing moment, every jaw-dropping play that there is, you see live on NFL Red Zone. For two seasons before NFL Red Zone began, I was a roving reporter for NFL media. They would send me to practices, to games, to news conferences to cover it. When they sent me to a game, I would be going to different websites to find out the score in Minnesota, the score in Dallas, the score in Miami. Tom Brady would be playing right in front of us on the field, and I'd jab some of my fellow reporters next to me and say, yeah, yeah, but Adrian Peterson has 100 yards in the first half in Minnesota. I was always interested in the 1,000-foot view of the NFL. So I'd like to think that even in my reporting days, I was kind of built to be someone who could watch multiple games at one time and would want to tell everybody what else was going on in the NFL besides the thing that was immediately in front of us. The summer of 2009, I hear a rumor that the NFL is gonna start this new channel. They're gonna call it NFL Red Zone. The NFL Red Zone audition was five hours long. So what they did was queued up eight videotapes, pressed play on eight different machines at the same time, and said, talk. I'm your host, Scott Hansen. You're watching the first moments of the channel that we hope will change the way you watch football forever. At the end of the five hours, I'm drenched in sweat. I get a phone call. It was the executive producer from NFL Network, and he said, Scott, I, I just want you to know we want you to be the host of NFL Red Zone. I'm, I'm thrilled about that. Thank you so much. So, so you watch the five-hour audition. He said, Scott, I watched the first 10 minutes of it, and I knew you were my guy. But I remember thinking, if you watch 10 minutes of it, why the did you have me do five hours and ruin a perfectly good suit? The rest, as they say, I guess is history. On episode one, we hit the jackpot. It's the Denver Broncos and the Cincinnati Bengals. We randomly pick out that game because the score was close, even if it was low scoring. And we said, let's watch. And then, bang. Bat it off. Oh, God! Stokely down the sideline! Can they catch him? Stokely! Wow! Touchdown! We just happened to select as the game to go to at that moment. Our eyes went like this because we said, this could happen every single week. Anyone who ever gets a look behind the scenes at NFL Red Zone will notice a couple of things. The touchdowns are very real, but the background's fake. Spoiler, I have two right-hand men in the studio with me, Tim Galanians and Brian Larravee. And anytime I have a gap in my football knowledge, they fill it immediately. And I saturate my mind with every player, stat, fact, storyline that I can think of, but my hard drive's limited. Their computers aren't. At the very beginning of the show, there were a couple things that, that I suggested to the producers. I said, I know we're gonna bounce around from game to game to game, but why don't we, at the beginning of the game, show a big picture? Let's call it the Octobox. Let's go to the Octobox as we catch our breath in the first few moments. The witching hour was something that evolved over the first handful of years. People would hit me up on social media, and I kept saying, you should call it the witching hour. You know, when the weird stuff happens. We got pressing issues here. Lions, two-point conversion live. When, when the unpredictable will happen. Eight games, many of them getting to or in the fourth quarter. It's the witching hour. When wins become losses. And losses become wins, or, or some variation thereof. And it was basically a 60-minute segment where you couldn't take your eyes off of it. It's absolutely phenomenal, the popularity of NFL Red Zone. I've been told we've been on in the White House. We've been parodied by Saturday Night Live. We've been on Family Guy. People dress up as me for Halloween. The little guy. Look at the detail. One of the other amazing moments that I found out that NFL Red Zone is everywhere was at one of the New England Patriots Super Bowls. All of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder 
And I turn around and it's Tom Brady. And I go, Tom. And he goes, Scott, I just want to say, you do an amazing job on Red Zone. I don't get starstruck, but when the GOAT tells you he's watching your show, that's a big deal. My game goes to Scott Hansen. Let's go! What Let's go, Scotty! This guy's great. This guy <laughs> Hansen is special. Do you sit around and watch NFL games? I watch them all. Red Zone. Scott. Like, he's, he's the best in the game. I was born and raised a football fan. Played flag football when I was a little kid. Went and started playing tackle football. Got into high school. Was captain of the team. Syracuse has a big-time Division I football team. So I made the team and stayed there for four years. I love the game so much that I knew if I wasn't going to play it, I would want to talk about it. Scott Hansen, NFL Network. Tell me about the winning touchdown. Describe the emotion right now. Hey everyone, Scott Hansen here, host of the new channel that everyone is buzzing about, NFL Red Zone. I'm sitting in the studio right now, and it's pretty quiet, and it's empty, and we're waiting for the season to start. And when we get on Red Zone Eve, I will be fired up at 1 o'clock Eastern, week one, to hit that octo box and do the witching hour all wrapped up in seven hours of commercial free football i can't wait to say that for real i love it that you guys love it as much as we love it let's do this forever